Hi all, I purchased the Xeon Smooth 5 gimbal for smartphones last month and have begun using it. I am delighted in how it can balance a bigger phone like my Note 20 Ultra and my rejuvenated Zeal to use lenses and filters. However, the topic of this video is how to use different audio options with the gimbal. Welcome back. I use my smartphone and gimbal to record videos of my patients recovering from knee surgery in India. If you are unaware, I am Dr. A.K. Vengarachalam, an orthopedic surgeon in Chennai, India. My professional interests are stem cell treatments of knee and shoulder, keyhole surgery and joint replacements. I use video to record the progress shown by my patients after knee surgery in Chennai. You can learn more about my stem cell treatment from my website www.orthobiologicsurgeryindia.com. Let's now see how to obtain good audio into the phone. The easiest way with a Note 20 Ultra is to rely on the inbuilt microphones in the phone itself. As you might be aware, this phone has three microphones at the front, back and bottom. They can capture good audio if the ambient noise is minimal. Another way is to use Samsung Live Buds. A third way one could use is to plug in a lav mic but since this phone doesn't have a 3.5mm mic socket, you will need an adapter. I use a T-shaped adapter with a C-plug that goes into the phone and has an additional C-plug to one side of the T for charging an audio and a 3.5mm socket. You will have to move your phone to the left to make room for this adapter when your phone is positioned in the gimbal. A lavalier mic will give you crisp sound. Wireless lav mics are also available now. These mics are useful if you are going to speak and record your voice, that is your voice, in the video. If you want to record audio from another person away from you, say for instance a patient of mine who is walking and is narrating his or her experience or if you are on a tour a tour guide describing and narrating the history of a place, then you are the person speaking, the second person is away from the mic and therefore you need some wireless connections to transmit that person's voice to the phone. So you will have to clamp a mic receiver to the gimbal and feed that sound into the phone. Zoom Smooth 5 has a quarter inch thread at the top. And one could thread in a cardioid mic like the, like the Rode Video Micro into this socket and, and use this with a TRS to TRRS cable to carry its output into the phone via the T adapter mentioned before. One could also attach the same mic at the bottom of the gimbal to attach a Rode Wireless Go mic to the top of the gimbal is definitely more advantageous then attaching it to the bottom. If you want to attach a mic here, then you will need a triple cold shoe mount like the Ulanzi PT14. You, you affix it in the junction between the tripod and the gimbal and that will project here like that and it has a triple cold shoe mount to carry the signal from that into the phone you will need a lengthy cable like this one. This is the SC1 which is a TRS to TRRS extension cable that will carry the signal from here to here. The phone is here, somewhere here. So this distance, there should be no tension on the phone. Uh, but this has been obviated in this gimbal that is the Zoom Smooth 5 by a socket here to we into which I have threaded a cold shoe. This cold shoe is from small rig. It comes in with uh, an Allen key and special screws which are very short and they have got a hexagonal head. This cold shoe is unlike any other one in the market. So it is threaded here into this 1 4 inch socket at the top of the gimbal 
and therefore the distance between any mic attached here and the phone is considerably much reduced very short so you can have this gimbal moving about in the air and there won't be any tension and uh, fatigue on the motor of the gimbal by a cable pulling it or anchoring it and pulling it down if you are desirous of obtaining crisp audio from yourself and a patient or a tour guide then you will need two transmitters attached to both of you like one here and another on the other person if we need two audio inputs like a tour guide or in my case a patient then the best solution is to use two transmitters and receiver like the rode wireless go to mic in this case one should get a digital audio input from the receiver by connecting the rode wireless receiver into the phone with a usb c to usb c cable mind you i didn't say trs to trrs cable but usb c to usb c cable these cables that is this uh, uh, usb c to usb c have got two versions one with a straight c port and another with a 90 degree bent c port the latter is shorter than the former and will require less shifting of the phone in the phone clamp for balancing the cleanest way is to use the recorded audio in the wireless transmitter go you can set this to record your audio at all times in the rode central app I've set mine to record it and this is capturing my audio right now and you can um, talk into the video you can and you can sync the audio of the phone with the audio in the transmitter and delete the audio of the phone altogether after you've synced it so this way you can rest assured that you're going to get in clear crystal clear sound in your video this method doesn't need you to move the phone in the phone clamp and is valuable particularly if you have clamped on a lens and filter to the phone to give a different perspective this may make the phone heavier and uh, addition and addition of a usb c type cable into the bottom of the phone will result in your phone being shifted you might need counterweights to balance it but this is far better the untethered phone is free to move about in the gimbal hope these tips will come in as handy when you begin thinking of mic options for your zoom smooth 5 if you like this video then you might like this one about the mic options for zoom smooth 4 and this one on the rode wireless go to mic if you like this video consider subscribing to my youtube channel madras joint replacement center like share and comment and stay abreast of new content by clicking on that bell icon i look forward to seeing you in the next video till then have a nice day